What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm so excited to talk about another sweet item we have for a Power Stroke 6.7 2020 to 21. I want you guys all to listen very closely tonight. We're going to talk about emission compliant tuning. Emissions on. No more delete in your truck. No more taking it off. Three tunes capable of having seven preloaded for your six seven check this out i'm going to show you guys how to do it guys thanks so much for coming back and checking this out make sure to hit that like and subscribe check it out set has come out with an emissions compliant tune actually three of them and it's all in this device right here i want you guys to go to sctflash.com and immediately check it out uh if you guys have any questions there's a lot of great info right on their site all about this and the kit that it comes with we have it all right here we have the device we have the battery connection going to this sct interface which is actually two pieces this obd cable is what plugs into this and then on the back of here is a serial port and get this we're plugging this in but the other end has the connection for the PCM. How whack is that? We're not programming through the OBD. We're not programming through this, through this in the truck. We're programming right straight from the computer. Pretty weird. If you guys have been following the channel, you know that we do not program through there. We program through the OBD. So this is going to be unique for myself and it's going to be unique for you because changing the tuning is a big deal. Changing stuff that you're not supposed to is a big deal. And now that we have got the green light from the EPA, we're carb compliant um, with all three tunes and the ability to go between five different trucks. So let's say you didn't like it and you sold it to your buddy. Now you have four more times. Ah, he got cold feet, uh, but he liked it. He wanted to give it to his buddy to try. Now you got three more times. So uh, there are uh, different abilities to preload custom tunes from SCT that are still emissions compliant. So what you guys want to do is when you're programming your truck, the first thing you wanna do is start and make sure you have a fully charged battery or have a battery charger on standby because you don't want to be in the middle of programming and then have your truck go kapoo. So that's not going to be good. One of the other things I am going to put up on the screen right now, this is the chart uh, that SCT has on their website. And the three different tunes you have, you can see right there at the bottom, we have performance street and tow. Performance being the most 76 horsepower, 210 foot-pounds of torque. Street in the middle at 61 horsepower, 74 foot-pounds of torque. And then tow at the bottom, 30 horsepower and 66 foot-pounds of torque. Now I'm going to try to zoom in on this graph so you guys can actually see the difference here. I hope you guys can check that out. Zoom in a little bit more for you. Um, and then right here in the paragraph, uh, what we have going on, uh, SCT tuning devices will not modify or delete vehicle emissions. SCT products comply with the Clean Air Act. Custom tunes can be loaded in the X4 by a custom tuning dealer directly or via email. Custom tuners are required to follow the guidelines of the Clean Air Act as, the as they develop their tunes for SCT devices. So there are a lot of requirements and when these tuners are writing files for these trucks. So um, don't think you're gonna be getting a, a ghosted uh, whack tune. This is something that SCT has verified. It has gone through the dyno testing and has ultimately been passed and approved by the EPA. So 
enough blibble blabble jabble. Let's get to talking about how you do this truck. First, what you're going to want to do is visit sctflash.com. They put a QR code in here. Take a picture of it, and it's going to take you exactly where you guys need to go. And what you're going to want to do is download their updating software device updater from their site. It's no big deal. What you're going to want is to hook the computer to the device and click check for automatic updates but we know that it's not updated so we need to hook this up we need to bring this over here and we need to get the usb cable let's open this up all right so here's the cable we have the two ends we got usb and the little micro guy uh, the micro guy is going to go in here Plug that in, and then the other side, we're gonna plug into the, the computer. We got a little, little LED light flashing. All right, it's on. So let's go ahead and let's go update now. This, there is a software update available, download and install. Okay, we're just doing a little little update here we got some file transfer making sure we got the right firmware and blibbity blah okay check for updates identifying the device device is up to date so that's what you want to see when you're done with updating it on the device updater now you're good to disconnect we don't need the computer anymore and everything is good to go we'll be able to now take this to the truck and pretty much do the next step computer now to power stroke all right the next thing oh, i'm a stupid idiot i'm an idiot let me grab the connector I'm walking away doing 20 different things. All right, this is the ECU. This is the PCM on your 6.7. We have three connectors. We have the after treatment. We have the engine. And we have the body side connector that goes to the PCM. A B, an E. Well, it was T because I used to be the trans connector, but uh, it's after treatment now. So gonna go ahead and push this button here in the middle right here and it's gonna swing this tab one of the things SCT requires is to disconnect all three connectors when we do this the engine one see that button push that button swing that tab and that kind of gets out of the way I guess we can just pull this off to get more room and then this one here this is the money one this is what we want we're gonna pull that down and completely disconnect that from the truck. Get this out of here. Now we take, isn't this crazy? Now we take the supplied connector from SCT and we're gonna plug that, we're gonna plug that right into there and we are left with this really nice serial port. Look at all this stuff, look at all this stuff, it's so cool, look at all this stuff. Okay, next step. So we are gonna put that over here. Serial port, we're gonna hook the serial port up to the serial port of the SCT. We'll do a couple of little thumb screws. Make sure that's down all the way. Oh yeah. Okay, I like it, I like it. Now we have a power port that we're gonna need to hook this up to. Just like this. No big deal. Okay, I'm not hooked to the battery just yet. Make sure the fuse is in here. Okay, they put a little five amp, five amp mini fuse. Just making sure it's in there. Uh, I'm gonna hook up the device first before we get it powered up. Twangle. Now this end is gonna go actually right up into the device. You have two of them up here. That looks like a and like a printer port or something, but 
that's going to go into that one. And then remember the OBD, we're been so accustomed to put this underneath the dash. We're not going under the dash. We're staying underneath the hood straight goes against everything that we've done. And uh, that's going to plug right into there. So here's our connections. Nothing's powered up. No big deal. And we're going to put the power up. Do we do black first, red first? We put the red on the black and the black on the red? No. Let's do the red first. Put the red on the red. And then we're going to come over here. And we're going to put the black on the black. Just like this. Okay. The device is turning on. All right. We're going to go through this slowly here. All right. Let's hit program vehicle. This device is not legal for sale or use in California or any pollution controlled motor vehicles. Press continue to start programming. Well, we know that this has already been approved by the EPA, the tunes that we're about to use. So um, you can continue processing data. We've got some lights flashing here. I hear, I hear this relay box clicking or communication device. I don't see any. I don't see any LEDs on it. All right, we have 6.7 Super Duty preloaded tunes. Um, we're going to click 6.7. Not if you guys can hear it clicking. All right, we have engine tune. Right now is stock. So oh, let's go back up. What do we want to pick? Do we want towing, street, or performance? Which one you guys want to pick? Performance? Street? What does the customer want? Towing. Towing. Okay, we're doing towing. Towing. Selecting. Okay. Engine tune that we're going to be putting in this truck is towing. You guys see the yellow? It's indicating that we are towing. Okay, we're going to approve this. Approve. Okay. Six, seven, super duty. Engine tune. We're putting the tow. This is the lowest one. We have 33 extra horse, or I gotta look back at the at the numbers. Okay, unlocking processor, processing data. Okay, saving stock data. Kind of just set this right here. Now what this is doing is it's taking your stock, your stock data on the ECU, it's taking your stock data and is putting it into the SCT. <clears throat> now we had three selections, tow, street, or performance, it's gonna select the tow and it's gonna put that into the truck. So now the device and everything is married. If you wanna change that, you re-sync all this up and take the tow out and put the performance on. If you don't want it on your truck, you take the tow street performance off and then the stock file goes back in and it is unmarried, ready to use on four other trucks. You can't go and put a tow one in this truck, take it off, and go put the performance one in that truck. Mm -mm -mm, that's not how it works. Once it's married, once the stock file is out of the truck, it has to be put back in in order to go to another truck. Now let's say you sold the device and left the tune of their choice on the truck and now you have a device that is technically still married but you have a device that you can use sct uh, has the ability to give you an unlock credit or unlock uh, ability for a fee i think it's like 100 bucks uh, to put the device back to the three tunes and then you'll be able to start all over again just like you were were you know, from the beginning. So um, it's a process. You can see since I was yapping, I mean, we're only at 19%, gonna be 20% here shortly. And uh, it's gonna be doing this every time you go to switch your tune. So if it's gonna be, you know, something you're gonna wanna do frequent, no, you're gonna take a few minutes to do this. It's not gonna be on the fly, key off, key on, key out. It's not, it's totally different than what we're accustomed to. So. I guess as soon as we get to almost 100, we'll see what the next step is. 
All right, here it goes. 94, 95. All right, sweet. Saving stock data. So we just took everything out of the computer and uh, now we're gonna be putting the tune in. Just gotta follow all the prompts. There we go, there's a good little, there's a good little holding. A little staging, a little staging area. Doesn't fall off. All right, I just heard a click from the relay box. Preparing data, do not remove power or disconnect the device. Preparing data. Programming vehicle. Preparing data. Almost done, I think it is about to put the tune in now. I think it's just doing some inner department stuff. Finalizing tune, oh, maybe it did program it already. Pretty crazy not doing this through the OBD and even for that fact being in the truck. That's just crazy. Oh, I just heard some clicking. Like I said, this wasn't gonna be something that was, you know, gonna be quick. Clicking, clicking. All right, now we're writing the tune. But that looks like it's going a little quicker. All right, like I said, I've never done this before. This is totally, totally new to me. Um, kind of exciting, actually. It's never, never done this. And it's legal. We're not doing anything bad. I mean, the only tuning I've ever had to do was just the Ford stuff, Ford you know, recalls were the 22E07. I'm only uploading software from the mothership that goes into the computer and the trans simultaneously um, using FDRS or IDS. So having the ability to do this and be totally, totally legal is freaking awesome. I like how the colors are cut off right there and they're in red when it's on the white and vice versa. What are you doing? What are you doing? Go! Go now! Go! It didn't listen very well. I think they want these other two disconnected because we want a program, but we only want a certain part of the PCM powered up, which is going to be that body side. Gotcha. So if we have those plugged in, we still have some powers that are going through these connectors, a V-Ref, but we can't have anything else on or powered up in the PCM because that would obviously mess that up. 67, ooh, 67, look at that. 67, come on, go faster, let's go. I'm hungry. It just hit 100 and I couldn't hit it fast enough. Download complete, tune has been programmed successfully. Two is the vehicle. What do we hit, done? <gasps> Is that freaking crazy? Wow. Way cool. Way cool. All right, well, that, um, that's, that's freaking it. Let's disconnect this stuff and turn it on, huh? All right, take this off. Take this off. This off. Unscrew the serial ports. Unscrew the serial ports. Disconnect. Battery. Battery. And then PCM. Same kind of button. I'm gonna reverse the removal process. I'll put this one on first. Okay. After treatment, this thing is freaking tuned. Let's start it up. All right, time to start. F250. Make sure we have no lights. Fire in the hole. We got no check engine. We have no check engine light. She's running. Hit the uh, hit the throttle. Okay, okay, okay. Doesn't sound any different, but 
the only real test is to take it out and drive it. Now, I don't drive this truck every day. My customer does, so I'm gonna put him in the seat. He's actually gonna be towing tomorrow, but let's go take it for a rip and see if he notices, because this is the first time we all are gonna drive this new emissions compliant tune from FCT for your 6.7 power strip. All right, guys, let's go. Gotta get the door. Getting door. Door higher. Oh, it's just pulling me, come back down. All right, backing up. Whatever way. All right, here we go. We're getting in. First impressions. We got 40, 42 thou, 43 thou up on the clock. And uh, we have the 33 horse tow tune. Or 30 horse, 66 torque, that's what it was. I'm getting, I'm getting my numbers mixed up. All right, here we are. We're gonna pull out onto the road. We have a 50 mile an hour uh, speed zone here, so we're gonna let this. We're gonna go. Yep, we're gonna go. Let's see how this tune works. Here we go. Clear here. Can you tell any difference? A little bit. I guess it. You really know when you tow tomorrow with that. Right. It just with that other trailer, right? Right. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll let you know for sure. Especially on the way home Sunday, because I'll have a pretty good load on that thing. This will be uh, another video, I guess, if you guys want to see. This is this was uh, installing this SCT product on this 20, 2021 uh, F250. Um, if you want to see uh, a performance tune video or a, uh, a street, uh, let me know in the comments. I think this will be uh, kind of a open, um, a storybook, I guess, to, to, to kind of say, because a lot of people are going to want this to be compliant uh, with the Clean Air Act and ultimately uh, get more power for your truck and be, be totally, totally uh, legal to do it. So let me know what you, let me know what you think. Remember to hit smash that like, and uh, if you want, share this with your friends. And uh, most importantly, get yours order from SCT, um, because now... I got a new one for my truck. I appreciate you guys for watching. Remember to like, comment, sub, share, and I'll catch you guys all next time. See ya.